Good morning, everybody. Part two, that's why I'm holding up two fingers. True witness and part two of the teaching on, I titled it, uh, Don't Preach the Cross Twisted, because that's what Peter said, that Paul's wisdom sometimes was hard to understand, and there, there, there were those that came behind Paul took his teachings, distorted, and twisted them to their destruction. That's what it says in 2 Peter, the last chapter, if you're wondering where I'm getting that. I'm the truth teacher, the spirit teacher of the Word of God. All right? Let's get right to part two. Hebrews. I gave you Hebrews 12.2. <clears throat> I'll start with the last line in 12.1. Let us run through endurance the race that is set before us. And in the other teaching, uh, that was the second thing. I've run my race. And here in Hebrews, it's saying, let us run. All right? With endurance. And Paul did that. He endured to the end till he was beheaded. He shed blood for the good news, the gospel, the mystery. The gospel and the mystery are connected. Verse 2 of Hebrews 12, 2. Looking unto Jesus, the Lord Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith in, faith in what? Faith in Christ, who for the joy, the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy, that was set before him endured the cross, the key word of our teaching is cross and how to teach it, not how to preach it. Because most man-centered churches are preaching the cross wrong. They're not teaching the cross correctly. We're trying to find how to teach the cross correctly in the Word of God according to the Word of God, lined up with the Word of God. Let me make a point here. We ran into the word cross. Uh, despising the shame of the cross, all right, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Something happened to get him through and beyond the cross, through and beyond his precious body, human body that died, through and beyond the precious shed blood that was in his human body, through and beyond the cross, through and beyond death, to resurrection. Now we have access by one spirit. Please listen to what I'm saying. You can listen to this teaching more than once. All right? So, he, he endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. And you could read on. You get despised again a second time. In the fifth verse, Saint, Saint sons, son saints, my son, despise, do not despise the chastening of the Lord. So it gets into discipline. That's what chasten means. A lot of people don't even know King James uh, chasten. The ch chasten means discipline of the Lord. Now, we went from cross the first time in Hebrews 12, 2. We're going to go to Colossians 1, 20. I'm turning, everybody turn with me, Colossians, remember we study Ephesians and Colossians together, we jump over Philippians, oh I'm going to make the statement here that I made in part one, the cross is not mentioned in the last three letters of Paul, he does mention what's important in 2 Timothy, the last chapter, being a good soldier, finishing your race, Paul said, my race, or the race, and faith in. Faith in what? Faith in Christ, and you will receive not a crown of gold, a crown of right or righteousness, and the hope of eternal life. Colossians. Now, I want to show you something. In this Bible, I went from here, where we're going to read, to here, to here. And this is chapter 3, Seek Those Things Which Are Above where he's seated. We just read in Hebrews that he's seated at the right hand of the throne of God. All right? So, in Colossians, 
Uh, I may have to go fast here. Uh, Colossians 1.20, where we find cross the second time. We're reading backwards. Hebrews, Colossians, Philippians, Ephesians. And to go in the other direction is, is Ephesians, Colossians, 1 Timothy, Titus, and 2 Timothy. And Hebrews is in there somewhere, written in the last six years of Paul's ministry. Don't know whether it's in 60 A.D. or 66 A.D. Because he had a burden for his kinsman Israel. So Hebrews is to Hebrews, but it's the same New Testament with better promises, part two, gospel of grace, mercy, peace, and joy, and love. All right. Back to Colossians 1.20. And by him to reconcile, thoroughly change. That's what reconcile means. All things to himself by him, whether things on earth, earth or things in heaven, heavenly, spiritual realm. Having made peace through the blood of his cross. Through and I add beyond. Through and beyond. The human body, the precious blood, the cross, the resurrection through and beyond. All right? I add beyond. Through is the only time the alpha arrow lays down flat. Then it points back up above to the heavenly, the heavenlies, the heavenly realm, and above. The alpha arrow. I'm the creator and inventor of the alpha arrow. I'll teach that someday. 21. And you who once were aliens and enemies in your mind or mind hearts by wicked works, Yet now he has reconciled. That's why I read that verse. True witness and reconcile, thoroughly changed, born of the Spirit, a new man. Inward, heart condition, uh, spirit, soul condition, conscience condition. All right, now I move from Colossians 1.20 and cross to Colossians 2.14 and cross. Having wiped out the handwriting of requirements that was against us, which was contrary to us, and has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to his cross. And you can read on there. And he nailed the laws of Moses, the oral law of the Judaizers, Talmud. Talmud is not Torah. Torah and Talmud, two different things. Two different teachings. And most of Israel ended up in legalism, teaching more Talmud than they did Torah. Okay, cross the second time. And then we get over to what we read in Hebrews. Ascended and seated. Okay, in the heavenlies, the spiritual realm. Colossians, the third chapter. If then ye be raised with Christ, have gone through and beyond the cross... Seek those things which are above, the heavenly realm, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Hebrews 12, 2. Got a true witness there. Where did he end up when he went through and beyond the cross? Paul didn't preach the cross in the last three letters that he wrote before he was beheaded. Can't find the word cross. All right? We're going to the next place. Got to hurry. Uh, Philippians 2, 8. Okay, let's turn to Philippians 2.8. I hope you wrote these down when you listened to part one. But if you didn't, write them down now. Okay, I'm going to just go to that verse, and you have to read before and after it. Philippians 2.8. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death even the death of the cross. And you must read on through 11, where it says, Confessing that Jesus is the Lord to the glory of God el Father in the heavenlies in the spiritual realm. I added that. And the next verse, 318 of Philippians, where we find the word cross. I will go directly to it because I'm running out of time. 18. For many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you, even weeping, Paul is speaking, that they are enemies of the cross of Christ's anointing. All right? And you go on 
to, uh, anyway, you have to read 15 through 1 4. 15 through 21 of Philippians 3, and then read 4 1. Add it to it, all right? And because I'm running out of time, 10 minutes, Ephesians 2 16. Let me turn to Ephesians 2 16 where we find the word cross, and we'll be discussing this much, much more. You have to read 13 through 22 of the second chapter of Ephesians, verse 16, and that he might reconcile, thoroughly changed, spiritually, inwardly, them both to God in one body, through and beyond the cross, thereby putting to death the enmity. And he came and preached peace. I found these things. Preach the kingdom, preach the Lord Jesus, preach peace, preach the gospel, the mystery. I don't find chapter and verse for preach the cross. But I am teaching the cross and I'm teaching it correctly. 11 minutes and 15 seconds. There could be a part three and a part four to get deeper into how to Teach the cross correctly because the majority of Christian junk that's going down in a thousand denominations is not teaching the cross through and beyond correctly. I am the correct spiritual anointed teacher. B period Eugene Bear. I hope you're getting something out of this because I'm bringing it strong and truthfully. Bye!